Hey everyone, this is Jay here. I wanted to discuss how to be able to extract Fortnite music from the game so that you can listen to it on your own. At first I didn't really want to do this because I figured that this would be kind of, well, giving the music away, but after waiting for a long time and Epic not selling the music or giving the music or sh giving the content to the people in some sort of way, not also that their numbers have been plummeting, so it's not to me like I figure of importance to them. They already sent the game out for free now. And so at this point, since the game is free, I'm not really seeing any reason to kind of not send this out anymore. Uh, but with that being said, the case, I would still want everyone to go ahead and support those who definitely did make this music. And if you guys are really interested in contributing in some sort of way, I'm going to leave links in the description below so that you can actually listen to more of those people's music and be able to actually buy any of their albums or any of their content that they actually have available so that you can actually support those who actually worked on this awesome music. Right. So that being said, let's get started. The first thing you're obviously going to need is actually Fortnite. Um, it doesn't matter if it's been updated or not, but usually having it updated kind of makes it easier to just find the most recent key that you'll need to be able to actually open the files so that you can view them and know what type of music that you're looking for or just be able to extract the music. You'll understand more of what I'm talking about in a little. The first web page that we're actually going to go to, actually the only real website we're actually going to really visit here, is called Gildor.org. The real one that we're actually going to really take a look at here is going to be called the Unreal Model Viewer. Um, and so you're going to really go to this website here, which I'm going to leave a link for. It's just going to be the projects, new models with the hashtag of files. Um, and if you scroll down, really, you're going to go down to the Windows 32 version um, and just download that so that you have that in your computer, right? So once the file is downloaded, you can go ahead and extract that file. Uh, if you don't have anything to extract this, uh, you can use WinRAR, but to be honest, I think Windows 10 comes with like WinZip, I believe, and this is a zip file. So you just need to extract the file so that you can actually open the contents and view the contents of what's inside the file, right? So I'm going to extract the file, and now we have this file here. Once you open the file here, you're going to have these three things here, and the only thing that you're really going to run is the umodel.exe. So once you're at this box here, you're going to actually go to where the path of where your actual game file is for your epic game file like uh, or your fortnite file right so uh, if you don't know where that is there's really only like a, a couple places that's going to be and i can i could i could give you a good direction of where you're going to look right so if it was me right most likely i'm going to check into my program files to see if they're there or my uh, x86 program files and the specific company you're going to look for is epic right so you're going to go down to uh, let's try program files first and then i do see epic games right here so i'm going to click on epic games and then i'm going to go down to fortnite and then i'm going to go to fortnite game and then i'm going to go to content and then i'm going to go to packs you're going to go ahead and hit ok for this, you can override game detection um, and use Unreal Engine 4. And I believe I go all the way to Unreal Engine 2.24, I believe. Um, it could be 2.23 or 2.24. We'll find out right now. Um, and then the other most important thing I would kind of throw in there is, as you can see, the sound. You can actually... Um, take away all of these if you're just looking for the sound, but if you're looking to look at other stuff, why not keep it there? And then I also put the platform as P uh, auto. I mean, you can put as PC, but it should just know, right? And so after this, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. After I hit OK, you'll notice that a pop-up comes up that asks for the AES encryption key. The AES encryption key is usually what is used to encrypt the pack files. 
AES encryption is it's like a security standard and it's been around and it's usually used for data encryption you know uh, like you can use it for Wi-Fi and stuff and stuff but anyway fortunately we don't have to actually get the AES encryption key there is a method of being able to actually get the AES encryption key from your pack files but if you just go online um, to this specific link you'll be able to go ahead and grab that encryption key and that's what we're going to do here so i'm on this new link this topic and this one usually kind of just gets refreshed all the time i'd recommend bookmarking this um which i'm going to give you but basically this is the fortnite encryption key thread so for this one as we can see this is the most recent one that we can see and you should always verify the aes key which we're going to do now by just obviously trying it but we're just going to basically copy and paste this aes key into our files. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, it didn't work with any of these. Okay, um, so the reason that it probably didn't work for me is because I'm probably not updated to the most recent version of Fortnite. So let's go ahead and check for that right ah that proves it right obviously that didn't work for me because i'm not on the most latest version of fortnite so after it's done installing and everything is done then we'll come back to this and see what happens so let's try one more time right and it's good to have these type of failures right so you can really see that getting down the key is important but like i said you don't have to actually create or not create you don't have to actually extract the key from your pack files you just have to update your fortnite files go online to this forum you'll get the most updated key and as long as you have the most updated key you'll be good to go so you go to packs override game detection unreal go down to unreal to 4.24 now the moment of truth we'll try again and copy and paste hit okay okay so notice how it skipped some of them but then the other ones that it did know of it was able to actually take that data so if you're looking for all the content within the pack files you'll have to actually get the aes key yourself for i think so they may have both on the website but i would say check that forum they may show you how to be able to get both of them if not you would have to know how to be able to get the aes key yourself which shouldn't actually be hard to i believe it involves wireshark if you're okay with that and i'm pretty sure um and then other than that using that and go to the forum and basically find out how to be able to extract that aes key but just going from going onto the forum getting that aes key you're going to basically get into the pack files once you have the pack files open you'll notice that you have a bunch of folders here right uh, if you're looking for just the music just the music alone the first place that i usually tend to check is going to be in game folder and then i'm going to scroll down to where it says something like sounds right click on that and then it has a drop down tree right and then i'm going to go down to maybe something like fort music fort music's going to have different types of uh, uh sound elements from most likely save the world in there so if you're looking for a lot of things in there uh from save the world you're gonna have it there um <clears throat> so for example if i wanted to listen to something from the orchestral score of the daytime that would be in ex uh, orchestral score right with inside the fort music and from there then you would basically go into orchestral exploration and then you would extract out some of these files now good thing to keep in mind not everything is an actual audio file as you can see here they have these like uh, uh asset files that are really like unreal engine asset files 
that once you have your project file, this would be used with that to correlate certain things. Um, but inside those assets have certain data in with inside them most likely would have your audio. So if you look at the kilobit size here, this will basically show you if it's really an actual loop, if it's actually like a song, or if it's like a cue, maybe something that shows when to actually play the song inside the game, right? So usually I try to go and extract just all of the folder. If you try to extract all the folder, usually you're just gonna get the audio anyway from here. Um, so let's go ahead and do something like that. We're going to go ahead and take this out, right? I just highlighted everything. I did that with the shift button, clicking on the shift and clicking, you know, uh, but you could click on one of these or you can highlight a bunch of them, right? By holding down the shift key. And then once you highlighted a bunch of them that you wanted, you can go ahead and hit export. Um, exporting them i'm going to export them to where i have my downloads folder to but you can export them wherever you want and you can look at this this extra information that may be important to you depending on what you're trying to do for audio you're not really going to need this you're just going to go ahead and hit okay so after you've done that let's go ahead and direct ourselves over to the folder of where you extracted your stuff which would be for me right here this u model export We'll go to the information that we exported and notice how the filing is the same as the uh, information that was in the folder tree for the program. So you're going to basically get that same naming convention there. After I get to the folder of where I extracted my stuff, we notice all the stuff that I extracted here. Uh, so we can go ahead and play something like the morning music here. Uh, all right, so let's test out one of these songs, right? All right, and so now we have Fortnite music. Right, that's just like one out of the many, many, many songs that you can basically extract from the game. Um, you know, so you have morning, you have the, the uh, like the dusk, the morning dawn, you'll notice that there'll be like loops of kind of the same thing with like just small different variances in them. And so you can go through it all and figure out what you like. So yeah, I mean, it's you can you can go through all of this and basically get what uh, is more preferable to you. So, a couple things, and then we'll basically wrap up here. So this is just where you can get basically like the save the world music, but of course there's other music like uh, there are these emojis, there's the stuff from uh, 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 Battle Royale, there's the creative music. And so where are you going to find those? Are they going to be in here as well? Well, they could be. Now I will tell you though from my experience that I found things in what is called the Athena folder. The Athena folder is what I believe, I'm not sure if that was their code name or their project name that they had for battle, their Battle Royale mode, but this is basically where I've noticed other sounds that are basically from the actual game of Battle Royale as opposed to Save the World. So this is where I'd look for like emotes and, uh, and music packs and, and just other things that are in there as well. Um, so that's where I would go for there. Um, also, you may find creative music in there as well, uh, or you also have this creative folder as well that will also may have music in it. You have to just kind of look. The last thing I would really say is if you're really not able to find anything, um, or like you're like trying, or you're having a hard time figuring out like a particular song that you really are trying to look for, uh, the best thing that you can kind of do is type in or use the filter, which is kind of like a search, which can give you of different places of where that music may be, and also using the flat view along with that. So we'll take an example here. So let's type in the word sounds, right, and use a flat view of sounds. Right? So doing this now has just the path location from within inside the pack file of where uh, 
they can find the word sounds and this can most likely uh, pinpoint down certain things this along with the kilobit size so if I filtered by kilobit size now we have the biggest files which would most likely be either audio files or some sort of texture file and so if you have the word sounds filtered along with the kilobit size you could basically figure out a lot of where that music you could basically grab a lot of music, figure out where that pathing is, and then find other things that may be associated with that as well. For example, the first thing that came up is where it's a gadget, I believe, within Creative. And so I'm assuming that it's a loop that uh, came with inside the Creative uh, part or the Creative mode of Fortnite. I could be wrong on that. You can't, you know what I mean? This, Yeah, I could be wrong on that. But this is what I'm, I'm seeing here. So if I wanted something else that could have been with creative or inside the creative mode, now I know, well, at least other music loops or this music loop was with inside of uh, creative, which was inside the game, like game and sounds, right? So if I go there, maybe that's where other stuff is too, you know, and you can go through all of this and kind of look through as well. The last thing I kind of want to just point out is that once you start to see the music and you see the naming, you'll probably start to notice that if you've had names for what you thought a particular thing is, it could be different, you know. Uh, this is kind of why when things were uploaded to YouTube specifically for a particular song, uh, half the time it's because of the fact that that was named that in the data files and I didn't hear it naturally within the game or I couldn't find it naturally within the game. And so it's hard for me to kind of pinpoint or uh, or define what that is without without real context, right? So like, so me just having the data file, I'm gonna name it what the data file was kind of named, you know? It, it, it makes just more sense to me. Until at least obviously someone gives more clarity to the issue, so. So I hope that this helps you guys figure out video game music you were looking for from Fortnite. I hope that, you know, this uh, may inspire you to maybe contribute to Ram DiPricio and Pinar Toprak and, you know, everyone else who basically worked on all the Fortnite music. Because it's not just those two people. It's definitely a couple. Yeah, it's, it's a good amount of people. And, um, you know, like I said, I will put links in the description of their music and, uh, and uh, if you guys really enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Uh, if you guys didn't like the video or there was some sort of confusion or something like that, you know, leave it in the comments. You can also leave a dislike and stuff. And uh, if you are really interested in the channel, um, you can also subscribe. It'll be more conversational based about video game music and video games. But if you're interested in that, please feel free to join us. We also do have a Discord where we also discuss things about Fortnite. Uh, we'll discuss things about video games in general. We'll discuss things about video game music, just, just things in general. So if you want to stop by and talk, feel free to talk. Other than that, have a good one, everyone, and hope this helps you out. Bye.